We're back, everybody. Time to run through more Tower of Geddon. Alright. So, we are going to mess with the elevator now. Let's go to the first floor. Oh. That just sends the chest down somewhere. Gotta be more to this, to this place. did nothing. Tornado did very little. Blackhole minus one, still pretty good. Oh, hey, Deluge. I got Deluge. Nice rare drop from them. So I got the prop sword here. There's gotta be more to this room than just the freaking chest, right? silly. The hell? What in heaven's name is going on here? General, Miss Riddle, and Glenn, and the other dragoons. What could have happened here? Chrono? Are you alright? What's wrong? 
You've been acting strangely ever since we entered the building. Is it that child again? There's no turning back now. We must keep going, Serge. A sunset? Have the clouds from the Dead Sea cleared up? It appears that the dimension itself is more unstable here than elsewhere. It's a time and space within a structure completely different from anywhere else. Luckily, the distortion to leave this place is still here. That's good news for us. Very good news. Will you rest in the Anatron? Yes. Hey, see your store. Status abnormalities removed. But you're still hungry. Screwy dress. So it looks like Chrono, Marl, and Luca as children. Is that the intent they're trying to show? Yes. Baby, Chrono, Marl, and Luca as ghosts. And this could be Lean Square, Lean's Bell. Oh, Nadia's Bell. So it's not Lean's Bell, or unless they renamed it. AD 1000, Nadia's Bell. May our prayers for peace ring on for eternity. But Nadia's bell will never be heard again. Never. We. No, everyone worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it. You. So many lives were supposed to be saved. The, this planet was to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Surge. Murderer. Who are those children? It's Surge's fault that the world will end up like this? <laughs> Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo of those long gone. It's just an illusion. Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time crash, ground zero. It's been a while, Serge, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. I'm Miguel, a friend of your father. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. So that must be... That's Lena's dad. What is this place? I don't know. But I don't think we're supposed to know about it. That child. That wounded child. Bring him to me. What was that? Who's there? Wait! 
Wazuki, where are you going? There's no way we can set sail again in this storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will... But... I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No! Wait! Wazuki! Yes, I've been here in this very place for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed it into the Dead Sea. Didn't you know? There's nothing in the world as, root, as ruthless or impartial as death. All living matter ages over time and eventually dies, no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death with every second. But there's none of that here. No one and nothing ages, nothing wastes away. This quiet, boundless, and beautiful world. An ideal world, straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place and time that belongs to no one. Race Nullius. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is compo composed of choices and divergences. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future. But at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with the choices you didn't make. A future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here, condensed into the Dead Sea. How is that possible? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? To be a part of eternity? How about it, Serge? You need no longer struggle alone, nor fear an uncertain tomorrow. Sure. Serge, you can't be serious. We can't just let ourselves die here. I see. I guess there's only one thing left to do then. I take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion? If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of peace, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back. Attack me with all your soul if you wish to live. Let fate take its course. Okay, uh, big stuff. Did okay damage.
friggin' anti-black is something you should be putting on links, not on Janus or Diameter. Dreamer's bandana. Nice. Well done. That's the way, Surge. My, you have grown strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a new future for humanity. The Dead Sea is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999, when the parasitical alien life form known as Lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet. Lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and burrowed deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Slowly but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the time to ripen for its true awakening. Finally, Lavos did awaken and manifest its true form on the surface of this planet. That's when our world faced a death from which air seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for a teenage boy and his group of adventurer friends, that is. These young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future, just future destruction as it appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on their planet, even if its death would not mean would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Time traveling from epoch to epoch, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet, and eventually won. But in saving our planet from the death of Lavos was... But in saving our planet from the death of Lavos is going to bring about, they also changed the course of history. At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect. It is just a problem of possibilities, after all. In this world, there are no such things as absolutes or certainties. But the future that was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become reality in this world once again. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin, with Surge serving as the trigger. Perhaps, or perhaps not. Either way, it's all part of the grand game of the gods. People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put their own lives on the line without even knowing the rules. Without even being allowed to complain, they try to do their best under the conditions placed upon them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those knights were after the frozen flame, of course, but instead they became salt for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen One can approach the flame. Looks like fate has made its decision and has started to carry it out now. It doesn't want the frozen flame to awaken in this place at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea, then to allow its enemies to take hold of the flame. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness, beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare. You must leave here immediately. Quick, go! I love you so much. That is why sometimes I desire to smash you to bits. Don't worry about me. You must go now. Farewell, Surge. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that the Frozen Flame has chosen. My dear Lena, may you live in a happier tomorrow. Grab hold, sons of man! Saved by a dragon. So there are a handful of chests that I missed. And based 
down that. It doesn't look like I'm going back to get them. <laughs> Why did you help us? <laughs> I too would like to witness this. How thou shalt live and how thou shalt die. If thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. To the Sea of Eden. If thou intendest to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in El Nido. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all the powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. Surge, you're concerned about the other world, aren't you? The dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to Opossa Beach. That was certainly something. mirrors. No. And that's the one with the murdered fairies. So this is the dimensional gate. Then let's get going. Let's gate going. Other world get to. Ah ah! Go away, shoo! Leave me alone. What? Yikes, over here is a scary looking cat man. Boy, am I in a major fix. Be gone if you wish to live. We'll take you on. Phew, you saved me. I thought you were bad guys too, from the way you look. I was looking for rainbow shells and those things started harassing me. But look, I got the shells all right. I better go get... I better head back and give them to Kiki. Thanks a lot for saving me. Bye. Hey, mister, you should be careful too. Lots of monsters are on the loose nowadays. All the grown-ups say it's a rebellion led by Surge. And I heard this Surge is trying to kill everyone on the island. I can't believe someone would want to do that. I wonder what's going to happen to us. It looks like there's much chaos going on here. A revolt led by Surge? Is Surge siding against the people?
You're back. Everyone's taking shelter over at the village, chiefs. Who knows when Surge and his minions will come invade our village again. Oh, me? I'll be fine. It's too late to run away now. It's my penance for not facing up to reality. Reality has finally caught up with me. What does Arnie Village have for us? Wait, why is there a Komodo pup here? We sure seem to be living in troubled times, man. But I ain't about to leave my island. I guess that's a called what's the I guess that's what they call a dragon spirit, man. You wanna rest, man? Sure. Oh. I wouldn't have rested had I known it would charge me. They're all taking refuge in the village chief. I've been told not to let outsiders through. It'd be the end of us if one of Surge's, min Surge's minions were to make its way in. Where is Surge based then? I can't just walk through Fossil Valley again now, can I? for me. does good damage. Tutan Shaman. <laughs> That's pretty good. Tutan Shaman. 
Cool, I got some instinct out of that. That's nice. Getting a lot of HP too, which is nice. Kill the kitties. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, eh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body and I don't remember a thing. You don't understand what I'm going through, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body part. So how about it? Will you help me find my body? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'm heavier than I look. I hope you don't mind. And don't swing me around too much. I'll start feeling nauseous. I picked the bellflower gently. Yeah, black hole minus one should still do plenty of damage. Or it'll just insta kill him. That's good too. See big egg. Biggest eggs. Yeah, freaking being able to just start the battle with full elements with the freaking battle modifier is really, really helpful for just random encounters. It saves me time. Especially if it's a fight I know I can easily do. Alright. But, this is going to be all for this episode. Until next time, everybody. We're going to go and determine and see what Surge is doing.